This guy is everywhere. Caden Clark. Is he in every pack? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Ribbon Packs. We're here with Ryan Barrett at Red Bull Arena, which is lots of fun for us today. You ready to rip some packs? Yeah, let's do it. Now, you were telling me you were a collector growing up, baseball and basketball. So who are some of the guys that you like to collect? Uh, well, growing up, you know, I was born in 1990, and the Yankees were in their heyday in the late 90s when I was, you know, at, like, peak age of being obsessed with cards. So right. I think I had a Derek Jeter rookie card that, uh, I don't know. I think we looked it up. It was worth a couple bucks back then. I don't even know if I still have yeah, it. Yeah, you should stick to your day job. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, I will let you do the honors. Um, and maybe I'll rip one alongside you. And let's see who you pull here. All right, you are celebrating your 11th season in MLS. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's an old guy for this game. I'm the old guy, <laughs> that's for sure. I mean, we have a young team, so I really feel even older than you. <laughs> 10 31. Yeah. Oh, we got a cool one here. Oh, we cool. Jersey card? Oh, yeah. Match worn? Oh, that's Good cool. Stuff. Roger Espinosa, man. He's been around longer than I have in Kansas City. Great player. That's cool. Game worn jersey? Oh, legit. He's a baller. I wasn't happy when he got traded from LA to New England because, mm -hmm. you know, New England being in our conference, we got to deal with him a couple times a year now. Yep. Now, uh, take us through game day. Obviously, you were not sitting and ripping open packs before game day, but uh, here we are in Red Bull Arena. What, what is it like for you? What is the process? Superstitions? No, nah, not so much any superstitions. First and foremost, we all get so excited to show up to game day here. I mean, this place is beautiful. In my money, one of the best, if not the best, soccer stadiums. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Lewis Morgan, Scottish Messi. There we go. That's a good one. Keep searching for some Red Bulls teams. Yeah. In here. Lewis, some player. He scored an unbelievable goal for us the other night. Yeah. There we go. Caden Clark. Wow. The Golden Boy. <laughs> oh, that's a cool one. Is that a special? Yeah, this is an insert as well. So, uh, not your standard base card, but, uh, you know, fun to see Caden Clark. His rookie cards have been on fire. Obviously, he's a rising star yeah. and pretty well established even at this point. But, yeah, uh, yeah oh, that's his rookie cool. cards are, are popular. All right, I won't acknowledge any NYCFC players. No. We're going to edit those out. Yeah. Later. Now, Ryan, if you were to collect a card of any teammate of yours, whose card would you want in your collection? I think I got to go with John Tolkien because he's standing here in the background. He's on deck here. But nah, if you, I wouldn't mind having a Tolkien card. He's a rising star in the league. Uh, we got Carlos Vela. Yeah, the international yeah. players. Look how they put their, uh, you know, their hometown flags or their home country flags. That's cool. He's a, he's a baller. I'm glad he's out in the West. We only got to play him once a year. Uh, Matt Turner, yeah, I'm a huge Matt a Turner fan. He's such a nice kid. I've gotten to know him a bit just from playing against him over the years. He's a New Jersey kid, and I'm really excited to see what he can do at Arsenal. It's a really big opportunity for him and for American goalkeepers in general. Sure. Now, do you have a favorite uh, stadium that you like to play in outside of Red Bull Arena? I would have to say Atlanta. You know, they get an unbelievable crowd in that huge stadium. You know, it's such a brand new state-of-the-art stadium. They get create a great atmosphere, and you know, we've had some battles with them over the years. Um, so yeah, I think Atlanta, really, we always look forward to going down there. Chicharito, some player, him and Carlos Vela, two of the best players in the league. This guy is everywhere, Caden Clark. Is he in every pack? <laughs> he must be, everyone wants his oh, cards. Oh, man. You might have to go home with some of those if you get yeah. Another relic card here, Antonio Carlos. There we go. One of my favorite teammates besides Tolkien here, Frankie Amaya. One of the funniest kids you'll ever meet. And he's been a huge part of our success so far this season. Great player and uh, even better guy off the field. How would you describe him the difference between him being on the pitch versus in the locker room? Oh, on the pitch, he's all business. And in the locker room, he is the complete opposite. He's a big clown, kind of, uh, everyone loves Frankie. Everyone gets a kick out of him. And, uh, it's cool to see how much success he's having on the field this year. He's a good kid. Now, it's interesting because, I mean, you are, you're a veteran guy. Um, do you feel like it's a little bit of your responsibility to kind of take some of the younger guys under your wing, teach them, you know, the ways of the game, the ways of the business, 
how it all works? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I remember when I was a, a rookie and a young guy in the league trying to figure things out. You know, I was lucky to have some great older guys and veterans who kind of showed me the way a little bit. So, you know, being around the league now, especially being around this club, you know, I feel like I can have some wisdom and advice to offer some of these young guys. And just hope they listen. That's the hard part. They never will. <laughs> got a Darlington Agby out here and also got the Columbus Crew car next to it, so fun to pull those two in the same pack. Shakiri. we played him a couple times over the last, uh, say, two months or so. Uh, some players had an unbelievable career, and it was cool to get to, to play against him. Now, if you were to give uh, your younger self some advice, you know, looking back over these 11 years in MLS, what is some of the advice that you might give to, wow. to young Ryan? It's a tough question. <laughs> I don't know. I think just roll with the punches. You know, your career this is such a unique line of work between injuries, playing time, so many ups and downs over the course of a career. So just keep your head down, enjoy the ups, kind of get through the downs, yep. and, you know, just make the most of the roll with the punches. Roll with the punches. Some good advice. We'll let you have one more pack, and uh, while you do, is there, you know, looking back over your career thus far, is there one just defining moment, being saved, what have you, that, that you feel, you know, kind of encompasses your entire career? You know, I think being part of the 2018 team we had here, where we set the record for points in a season, and we won the Supporter Shield, um, that was special. Uh, and just to have a role and a part to play on that team is something I always remember. And the way we won Supporters Shield on the last day of the season, we beat Orlando 1 0 here. Um, and the place was going crazy. We had a lot of fun. We went and celebrated for a couple of days. Um, so those are just the memories that you'll always remember. Of course, I'm sure uh, the team drank for free that night. Oh, yeah, that was on the GM's <laughs> car that night. Jack McGlynn, Philly, young kid. He's got a bright future. I think he's going to be a really good player. Kansas City, another good one. Yeah, those are the best pictures you see it after a game, you know, on Instagram or something. All the boys celebrating a big goal or a big win. It's cool. And then they end up on top cards. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> all right, Ryan. Well, thank you for hanging out with us. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you all for tuning in. We'll catch you next time back here at youtube.com slash topstudios for Rippin' Packs.